welcome to my channel so in this video i'm going to uh, go through the solution to this uh, specific coding question called find winner on the tic-tac-toe game so uh i also covered the general stacks you should also follow uh in a real coding interview at the end of this interview so if you don't feel interested about that part you can feel free to just uh, look at the first section of this uh, video and before the real content i would really appreciate if you can help subscribe this channel because it can help me to grow so let's get started so tic tac toe is played by two players a and b on the three by three grade so here are the rule of tic tac toe so players can uh, turns uh, players take turns placing the characters into the empty square so the first player always play X and the second player always pl plays O X and O characters are always placed into empty squares never uh, on filed ones and the game ends when there are three of the same characters filed any row column or diagonal so the game also ends if all the squares are uh, and not empty so no more moves can be played if the game is over and the question says that the input is uh, always valid like um, each move uh, it is it is going to fill in the empty places um, so I just uh, made this part so let's take a look at the first example like for the first example A is going to win because uh, finally uh, it is going to be uh, something like uh, yeah so a wins he plays the first so like zero zero and one one and two two so there is a diagonal so for this one b wins uh that is because one so okay one one zero two and two zero which is another diagonal i think so uh, let's see the constraints it says that the moves is between one to nine uh there are one to nine moves and uh, each move is going to be like uh, x and y so move ij is between 0 and 2 so no repeated elements on the moves and the move must follow the rules of tic-tac-toe so that looks great um, so uh, let's go through this uh, piece of code briefly so first of all I define a data structure which is called player so the player has three uh, three uh, attributes uh, three terms it's row column and diagonal so row uh, it's a map so the key is uh, row number and uh, the value is how many uh, how many chances we have placed in the corresponding row similarly for the column and for the diagonal if the key is zero then it is uh, backwards backwards slash diagonal so if it is um, equal to 2 and then it is forward that's uh, forward slash diagonal so let's say I define an API here which is put chess so f the input parameter is a move so the f move 0 is the row number and move 1 is a column number so every time you're going to update the row if the corresponding row has uh, three chances then we turn return true uh, which means uh, we have already been similarly we are going to do the column and uh, also we are going to uh, update uh, the the forward slash uh, diagonal and uh, this is uh, backward slash diagonal so if uh, if after put this chance uh, we are not going to win then we are going to return false so uh, the tic tac toe we go through every of the move. Uh, if uh, if the number of the move, the index of the move is even number, then it means player A. Otherwise, it's player B. So each time we after we put the chance, the return value is whether the player wins or not. If wins, then we return the corresponding uh, player. Otherwise, um, at the end, we need to tell whether uh, the number of the moves is 9. If it is 9, then means it is draw. Otherwise, it is still pending. So that's pretty much it. So it's mostly about like uh, design, design data structure and API stuff. Uh, so not too much touching the algorithm. So I would say, um, yeah, not too much about the algorithm. So in the real interview, the follow you need to follow the steps. Something like, first of all, you understand the question um so you if you don't understand somewhere you need to ask some questions to the interviewer to clarify and uh, so don't don't need to rush into the coding part too quickly because if you rush into the coding part too quickly that is pretty much a red flag so the second one uh, the second step is to uh, think about the solution 
So for this one, it's a data structure design question. So you may need to talk about talk about the data structure and the, like the simple algorithm, like uh, the update of the row column and diagonal, something like that, to talk with your interviewer about the idea um, and the guide agreement before you start to do some coding work. And the next one is uh, you're going to do some coding work, focus on the correctness, the readability, and don't be too slow. And the last part is about testing. So definitely do some testing by having some uh, test cases set up there. So that's it for uh, this coding uh, this coding question and uh, the content of this video. So if you like this video, please help us for this channel. If you have any question about this puzzle, feel free to leave some comments below. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.